In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to maintain your football shirt collection in a perfect condition. I've been collecting football shirts for about two years now and I've made some very bad mistakes in the past regarding, you know, maintaining my football shirts in, you know, optimal condition, uh, which resulted in some of my shirts damaging uh, quite a bit. I'll show you some examples right now on screen. No! 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 Uh, so yeah, that there was a bummer. I mean, uh, I always die a bit inside when I see uh, this happening to one of my shirts. So you know, to prevent you guys from making those mistakes as I made, I will show you my greatest tips for maintaining your football shirt collection in, in the best condition possible. I decided to split this video into three parts, uh, and the first part actually being wearing your shirt. So whenever you decide to wear a football shirt. Uh, you have to think about, you know, what is the chance of the shirt getting damaged and do I want to take that risk? For example, I often wear uh, football shirts to uh, football practice or to a training uh, and then, you know, I basically play Sunday League. So, um, yeah, there's a very high level of the shirt, you know, getting some stains or getting damaged or tear, maybe a rip, something like that. Um, because you know how those things go. Um, you know, you often someone pulls your shirt or you make a slide tackle because you think you're a very good player, but you're actually shit. So it just results in you laying on the ground with a dirty shirt, uh, which means you have to do the following thing, which is actually part number two, washing. So part two is actually washing your shirt. So whenever you're done with your shirt, please make sure you always uh, turn it inside out. Uh, so the Printing on the front and the back, especially name sets, numbers and sponsors don't get exposed directly to the washing machine. It also prevents uh, your football shirt from coming in contact with other uh, clothing items like uh, zippers or buttons. Uh, and to prevent that from happening at all, I always wash my football shirts separate. So I, I will wash like 10 or 15 of them all separate. Uh, just to prevent them from, you know, sustaining damage from a zipper or, or something sharp or, or a button because it could happen. I mean, I just don't want to take the risk uh, of that happening. So uh, I always wash them separate from uh, all the other clothing items. Uh, then I often use a, a program which is very soft on clothes. Uh, our laundry machine does have a sports uh, mode. Uh, so I always use that one, but you could also use the silk. Uh, silk setting as well to prevent you know any rough work being done on your football shirts and I would like to advise you guys to not wash your football shirts at 30 degrees or more. I personally always use the ice cold setting uh, and especially the newer generation of washing machines is able to get a to do a very very good job uh, with very cold water. Um, it doesn't matter which kind of detergent you use. Uh, I personally use pots but you could use powder or liquids. Uh, in, to my knowledge, it does not matter which type you use, but whatever you do, do not use any washing softener. The washing softener, especially in combination with high temperatures, will weaken or loosen the glue which is used to attach your sponsors and name sets. Um, so to prevent your name sets from, you know, getting uh, deattached from your from your shirt, don't use any washing softener. So whenever your washing machine is done cleaning your shirt, please do not use a thumble dryer and do not iron your shirt. They usually do not wrinkle and they usually dry pretty quick. So please just hang him on a line. Uh, just as I said before, uh, the thumble dryer and the iron will apply a lot of heat uh, on the shirt. And once again, the shirt isn't, you know, used to high temperatures. So once again, the name sets, the printing, um, but also due to the rough work of a tumble dryer, your shirts could sustain some damage. So do not iron them and don't use a tumble dryer. Whenever your shirt is done, pick it up and hang it up using, uh, using a line. And I would highly recommend you guys do not fold them over, but just hang them, uh, hang them in there. Um, so you don't get a fold whenever you hang them on your line. By the way, I always hang my shirts upside down so they don't get any uh, 
marks from hanging. And I always use some clips, but you could also use a regular clothing hanger if you, if you want to maintain the perfect uh, shape. Then again, if you're using a clothing hanger, you have to uh, hang them the correct way, otherwise uh, they will just fall on the ground. So it's probably not uh, that smart. Um, and I think that concludes the washing part and drying part of your football shirts. So let's move on to step number three. After they're dry, you have to store them. Okay, and then on to part three, which is storing your football shirts. Um, I personally would highly recommend to buy yourself some clothing hangers and hang your shirts. Do not, you know, throw them in a corner on a pile. And I also wouldn't recommend folding them because whenever you fold a shirt and you leave it there for a long time, the chance of sponsors, badges, anything deattaching from your shirt is just a little bit higher. Uh, I always hang my shirts in this room where there is enough light and there is enough air coming in through this little thing in the window, uh, which prevents any moths or insects or uh, humid uh, to or moist to uh, to hang around so there's a constant flow of fresh air uh, and there's enough light to prevent moths from you know laying eggs and eating off your uh, shirt so I would recommend a bright place with enough daylight and enough fresh air so your shirts don't get moldy don't start to smell or don't form a very nice breathing place for all sorts of insects so um if you followed up all my tips, you've done a very good job into maintaining your football shirts in the perfect, uh, or the perfect, well, actually the best condition possible. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys uh, could use my tips. And if you guys have any other advice for any other viewers or for me uh, onto maintaining or keeping my football shirts in a great condition, please let me know down in the comments, you know, help each other out. Uh, if you'd like this video, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more football shirt content uh, and comment down below um, you know your advices or maybe things you didn't know uh, which i taught you which is always a great flex for me um, so uh, thank you guys very much for watching and see you in the next video bye